Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Play Minecraft! Woo! So you might be thinking, this room, it, it kind of looks a little bit different. What, what looks different about it? I finally um, decrypted my Minecraft so that I could put mods on and I have this smooth shader mod and it is so beautiful. It makes the game look so much different, so much better. It does make my gameplay a little bit more choppier, but it's well worth it. It's so worth it. Like, when I first put it on and I came into this room, I couldn't figure out, like, why Why does this room look so much different? And it was because um, these walls, I don't know why, but these walls look so like so much different now that there's a shader mod. Ugh, I love it. Anyways, so, um... Prepare yourself for the hotel. You can see. Oh yeah, and I um, installed another mod where I can double tap, and I will jog or sprint or whatever. Um, but prepare yourself because I got a little carried away with um, doing the inside of the hotel. <laughs> um, I really, honestly, I was planning on just putting in like floors and levels and like marking off where our rooms go and stuff, so that I could get some like grids out and people could design rooms if they want and um well the like entrance lobby area um prepare yourself <laughs> oh you know what i forgot i forgot water but boom ta-da and there's like bushes over here and um we need to put some more bushes along here but um, these are going to be little stores, and there's going to be cake in um, the next update. So I'm planning on making at least one side a cake shop. Not sure about the other side. Um, and then if anybody points out, yes, I know it's uneven. <laughs> I know. I, I was too far through to fix the unevenness, so I just kind of had to leave it. And... Um, but speaking about the update, last episode I think I said something about, um, it took me forever to get these yellow flowers by the way, so enjoy it. Um, a lot of, or, bleh, bleh, what was I talking about? The update. I said that it was probably coming out, like, the, around the beginning of May, but now it's been, like, rescheduled because apparently they forgot about bugs or something that they needed to fix. And so now it won't be out for at least another week from now, I think. Um, I think it's going to be more, like, closer to the end of May now. Like, middle to end of May, I think. Which is annoying because it was originally supposed to come out some type, some type, sometime in April. Uh, it's kind of frustrating that it keeps on getting, like, set back and set back and set back, but whatever. Um, between this episode and last, I worked on my texture pack a bit. I finally changed the texture of this, and then you might have noticed, um, this is just normal smooth stone, and I just, usually it has, like, a line across here, and I just got rid of that line. It's the only difference. I just, like, went in, because I, whenever I edit anything, I use GIMP, which is, like, um, uh, what is it called? Paint shop? Paint... It's not called Paint Shop. I don't know why I can't think of the name right now. But I think we're going to be just short. Are we going to be perfect? Oh, we have two extra. Yay! Um, but actually, I forgot water. So we can't finish this. But anyways, uh, it's like uh, photo Photoshop. It's like Photoshop for poor people. I don't know why that was so difficult. I was trying to think of too many things at the same time. But I just like dragged the bottom part of it up. So anyways, I'm going to be right back with water. Okay, I am back with water. Um, You know, I really wish that this smooth shader mod wouldn't be so laggy. Okay, so, by the way, if you don't know what I'm doing... Oh, yeah, and I retextured the signs, too, so they kind of blend in. I need to make them a little bit darker, though. Um, I think they they would be the same color if you would have, like, a torch right next to it or something. But, um, they're a little bit brighter. Um, but you just put, like, um, a layer of signs. 
and then because signs stop water and then you put water and a couple people suggested this but by the time they suggested it I already knew that I was going to be doing this so yeah um and then let's see here can I get up here some of these the way they are um some of them have to be a little bit wonky. Oh my god. This is annoying. Stop it. Did you get it? No, you didn't. There we go. Now we can get up here and even stuff out. Um, so this is the top layer. You can see out and over the lobby area. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I might put, like, seating up here or something. You guys can give me ideas. I think I'm going to design this area myself. And you guys can design the rooms. I did do an example room, but, um, I'm, honestly, I'm not expecting tons of people to want to design stuff. Just because I personally think it would be a pain to, like, have to do it. Um, so... If enough people ask, I'll give up my sample room, but I'll keep it for now. I'm thinking once multiplayer comes out, I keep talking about this, about like having multiplayer, but um, if the PE multiplayer app still works when multiplayer, or I should say the next update comes out, then, um, oh my god, this is probably a mess to watch. Oh my gosh, okay, skip. Um, then I will buy that app. I just don't want to buy the app and then have it not work two days later. Okay, I'm going to finish this elevator off camera because it's a pain. But this is, this room is actually one of the reasons why I got the smooth shader mod. Because this is actually snow. I retextured it, retextured it so that it is, um just like a smooth white and um without the smooth shader mod on it looked like white and gray plaid it was terrible <laughs> okay so this is the sample room and um i just have like a bed a couch um some black wool representing a what is that did i mess oh no never mind that's not a mess up ignore that um some black wool for a TV, and I actually didn't know, you can't get black wool, you can't, you cannot get black wool in survival, I didn't know that, I had to edit that in, that's so stupid, it must be because there's no ink sacks yet, um, this is a little kitchen area, got, this was like the closest thing you could do for a stove, and then over here is the bathroom, here's the bathtub, and then boom, it's a mirror, yeah, um, I did have to get rid of the door, and I, the the door missing kind of ruins the illusion. There was definitely a better illusion before, and the fact that you can't actually see yourself, but it's still kind of cool. And then there's a table right here, and that's pretty much it. And the rest of these rooms are pretty much the same. I'll show you the rest of the rooms when, um, like, the upper floors, um, after I finish the elevator. Um, so this one's pretty much the same as that one. Oop, where did the door go? All these are pretty much the same. I think this side is, like, one, it's, like, one block longer this way. I think that's the only difference between the sides. So I will be right back. I will finish this elevator. And, the, the, yeah. Okay, so finally finished the elevator. And it goes all the way up. I think there's four floors in total. So this one's the next one. This one has no doors. Um, no doors yet. We're making them right now. These ones are all empty. Um, these are a lot um, bigger than the other ones. There's only one floor that has flo four. Gosh, words. Um, so this one only has three rooms. There's this back one. And then um, there is two sides. And I think the back one's a little bit bigger than the two sides, but not much. Okay, whoop, went past it, go back down. There we go. Nope, there we go. And then this one's um, the same exact thing as below. I just don't have any walls or floors set up because by this point I was so tired of building. So tired. And then there's the very tippy top. 
And this one is just two big old rooms. Uh, they're not separated yet, but um, this wall separates them both, and then they'll both go all the way out. And um, I will talk about room sizes. We'll get back down to the one with four. Um, let's see. Nope, oh, one more. Um, this is, the elevator is okay. It's a little bit slow, but it's not bad. So, let's see. I'll go down to this one. And, um, one sec. I will get up my grid. Okay, so, right now, this is just a grid of the whole entire room. So, the gray walls, I, I try to make this, like, as simple as possible. So, the gray walls are walls that you won't be able to change. Uh, meaning that you can't change the block type, you can't change where they go. You can place more walls inside of them, but you can't actually move these walls. Um, the light gray wall is, um, it means that it's changeable, so you can actually change this block type. And the red actually means that you have an optional expansion room, so that if you feel like the room's a little bit small, you have an extra five blocks to move it out. Technically, four um, like block spaces like inside of the room but then um, the fifth block is the back wall and then all of the numbers mean um, how many blocks long it is and I think that's pretty much it it's pretty self-explanatory and then um, I have down in other details um, from floor to ceiling there are five blocks meaning that not including the floor or ceiling, you should be able to go five blocks up, just to clear out if there's any confusion there. And um, let's see, in this room, the floor and ceiling are changeable. So say this in here, the floor is wood, so you can change that out and put whatever. And in this floor only, there's actually leeway room of one. So if you wanted to make like a step down into the room, you could do that actually. Um, because I miscalculated and accidentally put the floor up one too many. So there's leeway room for that. Okay, so what else are we doing in this episode? I think that might actually be just about it. I talked about the rooms um should i talk about the texture pack maybe a lot of people have been asking what type of texture pack it is it's my own remix of textures um i don't really know if i can release it just because none of them are really my textures something like this it's sort of mine just because i edited it um the wood is kind of mine it used to be darker this is john smith wood i am um, I just made it a lot lighter. Um, stuff like this that still looks like default. It's actually faithful. It's the faithful texture pack. That's what my base texture pack is. Um, so I don't really know if I can do that. Um, I think that might just be about it. Um, we're almost finished with the ship. And, um, I think there's just, like, four more pieces of wool to go. I sat AFK at the mob trap for so long, and I'd like to thank the person who pointed out, um, sometime last week in between episodes that I missed a, um, like, one of the water layers in the mob trap. And I don't know how, but thank you for pointing that out, because it was actually true. I didn't think it was true, and then I went up and checked, and it was. So thank you, kind person I don't know if you are a sir or a girl either way so I think that's about it I don't know if I'm actually going to keep the texture back on because it is lagging it's not really lagging it's just really choppy so yeah if you guys um, have any questions about the rooms feel free to ask um, there's two ways that you can design the rooms you can just go into like a creative world or something and just like design the walls so it's just like a flea a free floating um like room or um there's going to be a new download this week i forgot to make a new download for the world last week but it wouldn't matter because there would be a new one this week anyways because i added on so much um so you can download that and then go into whatever rooms you want 
I will try to finish the rooms before, um, like, the upper floors, just, like, get the floors out and stuff, um, before I do the world download, so we'll see, um, but yeah, and then the way you get the, um, room designs to me is if you have the ability to record, you can do it that way, or you can take screenshots, which I know, um, iPods and iDevices and stuff like that, um, can do screenshots by just, like, holding the, um, what is it, the hold button, the lock button, and the home button at the same time. I'm not sure about Android devices, so I don't know about that. Um, and then as for what to take pictures of, just pretty much, um, a picture of each wall. I think that would be good. Or if you're doing one of the bigger rooms, just make sure that you get everything in. Um, sorry for my rambling if you don't plan on designing a room. I'm not guessing a lot of people will. But I figured, hey, why not? It was something fun to do. As for what materials you can use, you can pretty much use whatever. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna say no on, like, diamond and gold and iron blocks. But, like, if you want to use something that you can't get in the game yet, like cracked brick stone or wool colors that aren't in yet or like court stairs um what else um whatever else you can't get in the game yet I can always edit in like water since the update's not out watch the update is gonna come out like right before I post this or something um or water or lava or whatever else ice it doesn't matter you can use whatever um and I think that's pretty much it the rooms don't have to be themed anything just like rooms they don't even have to be bedrooms if you really don't want to they can just be like rooms so enough of my rambling thank you for watching this week's episode of let's play minecraft please like and subscribe and all that stuff and thank you goodbye